has the capability of moving over a 100 meter blade and landing on dirt within a wind farm. And by doing this, we will be able to create the path to the cheapest energy in the world. Today, the turbines are simply too big to get under bridges, through tunnels, around curves, and that's why blades are typically limited in the 70 meter range or so onshore, whereas offshore they're well over 100 meters in length. Eiffel Tower size machines. And so we're enabling essentially the, uh, the movement of gigantic blades to onshore locations with an aircraft.
realize that 88% of the global health burden associated with climate change are borne by children under five years of age. That's massive. Children under 18 are half of the world's poor. It is important to have evidence-based decisions that take the interest of those that are never around the table, young children, into account when you make policies, when you program and when you fund. We can simply do better. fundamental structural change that is underway uh, that has to do with new technologies and that has to do with climate change. And China is spearheading that um, structural transformation by actually starting very early. You know, part of the success for EVs and solar panels is that they started much earlier than a lot of the Western economies did. production of these new technologies are more difficult than we think. We can put this into pilot production, but having a mass scale manufacturing requires a huge amount of capital uh, and some trials and errors. So we are doing everything we can do in the industry, but uh, uh, we need to do more uh, in research uh, and development. Complex questions require systems approaches, so simplistically focusing on, on one aspect, such as, for example, CO2 uh, measurements, uh, is by definition going to be inadequate uh, as a solution. The idea of thinking that we can solve the problems of the planet by controlling CO2 is, t is, is a sort of lie that comes from, um, uh, from the control of engineers about the way we work, you know. We, 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 we can metricate everything, we can impose system, and it will work that way. Well, it's not linear, it's stochastic, it's, 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 uh, it's chaotic, it, it's all over the place. So the idea of saying that if we limit CO2, we are not going to have a problem with climate, is just, just as ridiculous as saying that if we continue to destroy the planet, we will continue to have, a, to have a prosperity. We won't. We need to make sure that we protect the rest. Um, climate is a global public good. There's only one climate, there's only one planet. So we are in an era where uh, geopolitics is you know, bigger than before, but we have to try to maximize these gains. There's enough money or what we call dry powder in the world to finance the energy transition. We just need to unlock that and get it to the, the countries that um, need it. Mm -hmm.